Hi guys. Uh, okay, uh, this is a kind of a different video than I used to make, but I thought that maybe it might be useful for some people. So yeah. So the thing is like um, most of the time we have multiple PHP versions, and sometimes our one project is not compatible with another project. Um, I will show you an example as well. Like uh, for example, I have these two project. Uh, this is one project Rehan Manzoor, and then there is another project. This is Delivery. Okay, so both of these project, if you check composer.json uh, JSON file, so one project actually requires uh, PHP 7.2.5, it, it will work fine. Uh, and if you see the other package, uh, if you check the PHP version of this package, it requires PHP 7.4. And if we check our PHP version in the console, uh, it is PHP 8.0 so sometimes it's very hard uh, to figure out and like you need a quick way so what we can do is um, first of all let me show you what I have uh, in PHP here uh, what uh, which PHP I have installed here so for that we'll just do brew search PHP so once we do the brew search PHP it will show us like the PHP version that are available or anything that actually contains the PHP uh, in their title so we have PHP MyAdvan, PHP, so, but uh, for our interest, we have PHP with PHP 8.0, uh, most recent version, then this is PHP 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, and then there is a check mark here, which means that this PHP is installed. So <clears throat> right now I have PHP uh, 8.0 in my console. To switch between from PHP 8 to PHP 7.2, we actually need two commands only. So first command will be brew on link PHP. So this will actually remove this symbolic link uh, in the user local bin and then we'll link, uh, we'll add whichever PHP we want to use, PHP at 7.2. Okay, so it will link this PHP to uh, our user local bin. So let's go ahead and check if it worked or not. Ah, cool, so it worked. So let's go ahead and uh, switch it to PHP 7.4. Okay, uh, so now we'll link PHP 7.4. Let's see what is the version of PHP now in our console. So yeah, cool. So yeah, that these are the two commands that you need to do. You don't need to do uh, manually just go to local bin and sim link your files uh, by yourself. You, you can just do brew link PHP and brew unlink PHP. Unlink will remove the sim link in the user local bin and link will just create again this link between the PHP and uh, user local bin. And yeah, that's it. Cheers. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.